The bad news just keeps coming for the Golden Knights. Yeah, this afternoon they found that their trade of forward Evgeny Dedonov has been voided by the NHL. Fox 5's Kevin Bollinger joins us now in studio to tell us what's next. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a disaster, hasn't it, guys? 48 hours later, the much-discussed trade of Evgeny Dodonov to the Anaheim Ducks has been ruled invalid by the NHL because Dodonov had a 10-team no-trade clause in his contract that included Anaheim. Here's the statement from the league on the situation. Quote, the National Hockey League announced today that it has invalidated Monday's trade of player of Evgeny Dodonov from Vegas to Anaheim. The trade could not be concluded because Dodonov's contract includes a limited no trade clause which has not been complied with. Shortly thereafter, the Golden Knights released this statement. Quote, the Vegas Golden Knights recognize the league's decision and welcome Evgeny back to our club. Unquote. No one from the organization was made available today to the media. So how did this happen and what does it all mean? When Dodonov signed a free agent contract with Ottawa, he was allowed to choose 10 teams that he could not be traded to and that list had to be turned in by the end of June, which it apparently was. Now when the VGK traded for him, either they were not told by Ottawa about the 10 team list or for some reason they didn't recognize it when discussing the trade with Anaheim on Monday, which was, as we said, on that list. Now Dodonov is back on a team that just tried to unload him to get salary cap relief. The Golden Knights could still trade him to a team that's not on the list, but under NHL rules, Dodonov would not be able to play until next season. So it would have to be a team that it's out of the playoff picture that's looking to take on salary to maybe gain players or picks in return. With Dodonov on the roster, which he is right now, Cap Friendly says Vegas has just over $400,000 left of cap space, which puts them in a tough spot to try and find room to bring players off the long-term injured list like Mark Stone or Alec Martinez. This has been a soap opera, and it continues. We're going to keep you up to date. Also, some big NFL news today. The Raiders quiet in terms of signing free agents. Agents, but there was a big move that impacts them. The Chiefs trading wide receiver Tyree Kill to the Miami Dolphins in exchange for five draft picks, including a first and second rounder this year. This is really a similar situation to wide receiver Devontae Adams going to the Raiders. Hill was nearing the end of his deal. The Chiefs didn't want to pay him what he wanted in a new contract, but the Dolphins did. They not only gave up the picks, but they gave Hill a four-year, $120 million extension. The short-term wise, it's going to take away one of the Chiefs' biggest offers offensive weapons. That helps the Raiders, but those draft picks give Kansas City a chance to maybe reload, and that could help them in the long term. This has been a wacky NFL offseason, and it continues. We'll stay on top of that. Back to the Golden Knights, of course, also been wacky with all the stuff swirling around and the fact that they're not winning. They now have a chance to get one at home tomorrow night against Nashville. That's a team they're fighting for a wild card spot within the West. So while it's not technically a must win, guys, really has to be treated as one because they need to get back on the right track. Yeah, we need some good news right about now. Yeah. Thank you so much, Kevin. Thank you.